What's up, everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we have another new breakdown for you today. Uh, right now, I'm putting a big focus on the the 40. Um, I know that they're getting into the you know the the track and field season is coming to an end, starting to get people that are um, you know either finishing up with the state or done with their their state finals, and so um, you know really putting a big focus on a big push here in in the 40s, just because there's a lot of camps coming up for you guys that are in. Uh, high school going into college and I know that being able to really run a great time with these camps could you know be the difference between you uh, getting a scholarship you know you know getting that offer before you go into your senior year and, and maybe not or even just getting on you know certain coaches map so I know we're putting a huge push right now in our programs to be able to help people run you know below um, you know in, in the four fives right if we can get guys running the four five that kind of puts you into a different echelon of guys um, and so we want to be able to give you the best information in order to do so. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break down a guy that is 5'9". You can see Darrell um, Henderson here, who is the 5'9". Okay, and then we also got Calvin Johnson, who is 6'5". I talked a little bit about him yesterday. But, you know, both of them ran uh, sub 4'4". Okay, and I just want to go over, you know, what are some of the things that, that actually caused that. So we can see Calvin Johnson here. And essentially what I do is I go off of when the back foot leaves the ground. I think that that helps in giving some clarity there. And, and, and usually I, I end up actually being a little bit under, right? So if you end up running, um, you know, maybe on, on mine, if you run four five two, you know, you might end up running a, a legit laser four five five, but still, if, you know, if I get you running a, a four five two, then, you know, somebody that, that does the hand times might get something like a four four or five or something like that, right? The hand times are usually a little bit um, slower in it. So I'm, I'm in between that exact laser um, and that, um, you know, it, it depends on the person. Sometimes I'm like a hundredth off um, for the, the laser time. So I'm usually pretty close to laser time, but I'm definitely, I, I usually say there's about a tenth when we go into hand times. Anyways, so his foot's coming off the ground here, Calvin Johnson at 471. Okay, I'm just going to make a note of that. And we'll see here. Just undo that one. And his is coming off at 126. I've tried to do it based off when his hand comes off, and honestly, it, it it's uh, worse when the hands comes off. Usually, then then I'm, I'm you know, if they run four three, let's say, then I'm at, at uh, four four. So, you know, I find this to be the most realistic here. Okay, so one, two, six. And and what I just want to do is, is break it down in, into a couple different segments so we can see um, where these guys are at. So one, two, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there is, or actually that should be eight, let's go one more time, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. So you can see seven steps, um, it's taken them 2.76 seconds, so it's taken, oops, and seven, six seconds, so it's about 1.5 seconds to go seven steps, and he's at about nine and a half yards. Okay, just to give you an idea there um and then we'll go here so he came off of four seven one one two three four five six seven so he's probably at about 12.5 yards and it's at five or six five oh So he's a little bit um, more time. Okay, so 29, 50, 79. Okay, this is about how long it took him to go um, seven steps. And then we'll go into the next one. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So at 12 steps. He's at 374, which he still hasn't crossed that 20 yet, but 374. Uh, so he's at 2.48 in terms of time there, and he's at about 19 yards. 
And the reason, you know, they, they break it up even when they, you go, they break it down in the 20. And, and I like to go into how many steps does it take you uh, to get to the 20. So if you're 5'11", um, 6 foot, you should be close to the 20, right? But you can just see that the difference, right? So from going from a 5'9 guy, which at, you know, we'll see how it all goes. So he's about 19 yards, right? And now we'll go 7, 8, 9, 10. So he just crossed 20 yards at 10 steps, right? 10 steps equal 20 yards. And this is again, you know, and, and I'll just do this real quick for you too, seven, two, one. Um, so what is that? It's 2.5 seconds to go 20 yards. Maybe a little bit, you know, he hasn't really touched it all the way. Um, in order to run four, three. So he's 10 steps, 20 yards, and he ran four, three, five at six, five, okay? Uh, but that's 10, 11, 12. He's probably about um, 26 yards there for 12 steps. And he's at 7, 6, 7. It's a little bit under 3. So he's at about 2, two nine four. Right, so you can see big difference in, in how much time, right? So 2, 4, 8 in 12 steps. Okay, but 19 yards. Okay, so a little bit faster there. In comparison to 26 yards in 12 steps. Okay, but it took him 2.94 seconds. And this is a 4.37 in comparison to a 4.35. So again, just giving you some examples or a, a compare and contrast for the 40 if you're somebody that is, is on the lower end and on the higher end. And what we're doing here, guys, and I'm just giving you a glimpse of it, uh, but what we have is an actual way and process of, depending on your height, you can run a certain, uh, you know, we can, we can get you to get to four or five, right? And, and it's all gonna, it's gonna be different if you're 5'9", it's different compared to when you're 5'10", compared to if you're 5'11", compared to if you're six foot, compared to if you're six one. So we have an actual algorithm depending on your height that, can guarantee you to be able to get four or five. You can get to certain times and, and a certain, you know, um, you know, if everything falls into place, you will be able to get that four or five, okay? And, and the reason I, I wanna give you the, the information, the reason I'm helping you out is because obviously once you get that four or five, but also because I just want you to get the understanding that, hey, when you work with us, you know, we're gonna be able to get you four, the four or five um, that you're wanting. And, and right now we're, we're working on creating like the, the whole landing page or whatever to get it all set up. Um, but we're going to give an, an evaluation process for, you know, anybody that in, in the month of June or month of July has any camps that are coming up. We want to be able to get you into that four or five range. And, you know, so we're going to set you up with a actual evaluation process because we're only going to take a limited amount of guys. Obviously, I want to make it so I can give you the, the result that we're promising here, the four or five. Um, and so we're going to take a limited amount of guys. So we have to, you have to have certain standards. You have to meet a certain criteria in order for you to take us, in order for us to take you in, in the program. Um, but if you're interested, you know, if you want to be one of the first guys that we actually look at, then, you know, we, we can, uh, obviously we're going to probably leave this open for the next two or three weeks here. Um, again, if you're a high school athlete looking to get four or five and you want to get evaluated to see if we, if you can qualify for a four or five program, send over an email to me. Um, I'll take a look at it. If you have video, send that over as well so I can see it. Um, you know, just going to be based off your height and, you know, some of your athletic capacity. And, and if you meet certain criteria within the 10 yard, 20 yard, 40 yard, you know, basically as long as you can run under 5'2", we will be able to get you that 4'5". It's just a matter of being able to understand exactly what the steps are, um, when you should be at those steps, and then how to develop yourself to be able to actually achieve that. So, um, yeah, we'll be able to get that for you, no problem. Um, well, not no problem, it's gonna take work from you. I don't wanna make it seem like it's gonna just be a magical snap, snap of the finger, but if you're willing to put in the work, we can absolutely make it happen for you. Again, based off the timing and the steps, it, it's something that's a very doable thing. So if you're interested, go ahead and send me an email, subscribe, you know, check out some of our other videos, check out some of our other content. If you look at how we base it all down and, and break all this number stuff down um, and how, uh, biomechanically effective we are with it, you'll understand why we're able to make these claims and, and why I know that this will end up working for you. So um, as always, we'll talk to you soon and thanks for watching the videos. Go ahead and like and subscribe, send us a message if you're interested. Talk to you so soon. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.